what is going on guys, your boy here, bring you guys an illustrator tutorial on how to illustrate your logos, uh, it's kind of like really hard to say back to back, but hey, hey, we're in illustrator here, and we're going to teach you guys how to illustrate your logo, illustrate your logo, when I say that, I mean like a broad term, what I mean by that is basically taking, uh, you know, a logo that you created, maybe sketched out on a, like a sketchbook or whatever, you have a cool PSD or whatever, you made it in Photoshop, it's all 2D or whatever, whatever, that's perfectly fine, uh, illustrating them, just basically giving it cool like strokes, maybe a double stroke, uh, highlights and all that cool, really freaking beautiful stuff, makes your logo really pop out, and it's uh, really good for gaming logos, maybe like MLG logos or, you know, gaming logos, or, you know, like a, a retrospect of everyone can, like, you know, basically take a relevance to, is sports logos whenever you see, like, a cool, you know, have two primary colors usually, uh, most of the time I have two colors, uh, like maybe purple and yellow or whatever, like Raiders, I don't really, I have no clue, don't, I probably, like, just ruined my life just now, anyways, purple and yellow, whatever, they have two, like, colors or whatever, and, uh, you know, just, you know, have the two colors, have a stroke on the outside, having that one secondary color, and then the primary, you know, that one, you know, color, and then you just have that as a primary color, etc., things like that, cool highlights, what I mean by that, I'll show an example, uh, but really, really big, just freaking thank you so much to the Muck Designs, make sure you guys follow them on Twitter, I have all the stuff in the description, make sure you guys please, please, please subscribe to his channel, I'm, if you guys want to learn logos itself, he's probably one of the best people I know, honestly, truthfully, that you can learn it quick, and he'll keep it. Just make you. He'll make you fluid in photo, uh, in Illustrator, which is really, really hard. Uh, but it's it's doable. I swear to you. I promise you. If you guys check him out, you will just not regret it at all. Uh, anyways, I have examples here. We're gonna be doing today. Uh, these are also made by the Muck Designs. Uh, here we have like a cool magnetic gaming, which is a M right here. You can see the M. Uh, and it's just basically we're gonna teach you how to do this exactly. This little cool little highlight right here. This is called a highlight. This little you know a lower or a, high, a lighter shade of yellow. And then these strokes here. And they have another double stroke here with a yellow outlining. Uh, really, really cool. I wish you how to do this and uh, stuff like this as well. Uh, basically, I really, really want to do this tutorial so, so bad. I promise you. I'm really, like, really hyped for this, honestly. Uh, so, yeah, I used to, like, look at these logos and be like, how the hell do people do this exactly? How do they, you know, give it highlights and whatever? And at the end of this tutorial, I promise you, you will have the basics down. You'll be able to go through uh, Illustrator with no problems at all. Know what you're doing and just, I promise you, promise you. Anyways... Uh, 200 likes on this video equals the secret giveaway in the description below. So make sure you guys like the video. Hell out of the video, and uh, let's get going. All right. So we have here a logo that I just had uh, pre-made or whatever from a client, a, a old client or whatever. And I'm gonna be using this example right here. Uh, let's just say this is an O, for example. I guess let's just say you sketched out an O. Uh, you can have a sketch. You can paste the PNG image in the uh, a cool document. I, I'll show you my document settings. Mine are 1280 by 800 points. Uh, color mode is RGB. I just press OK. Opens up this document. Uh, I can take any sketch or whatever, just drag it right into my document, and I can just, you know, trace over it or pen tool over. I just have, you know, a cool maybe a logo that you made in Photoshop. Put it in there with a PNG with a transparent background. You can do that as well. But anyways, I'm sure how to use the pen tool and such. And uh, quickly before we go on through it, uh, what I'm going to teach you guys a little bit, like a 5, 30 seconds or whatever, just, you know, skip ahead if you want to, but anyways, the next 30 seconds is me teaching you guys, like, a little things about, uh, Illustrator, like, to keep you, like, you know, on edge, uh, with this little white, uh, not this white circle, but this little circle here is the selective layer, whatever you, when you, once you select this right here, uh, you can add effects, uh, strokes and stuff like that, uh, if you add those, make sure you add them, if you want to add them to a certain layer, make sure you just please, please select this layer right here, what that will do, it'll select the layer, it'll add it and apply any effect or stroke that you put on it, and if you don't, if you don't have anything selected and you like go to effect or a stroke, you try to add a stroke somewhere, uh, it won't work at all, you have to make sure you select the layer itself, uh, this right eyeball here, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what this is, hide and unhide layers, uh, this right here, this little blank spot is a lock layer, so if you can see, I can move it around, I can just, you know, go to the selective tool, and move it around freely or whatever, if you put any PNG or, in, or image on it, or inside, you know, Illustrator, it'll basically have it rasterized automatically, that's what this little big X is right here, if you hold shift, hold the corner, you can keep the size, like I said, you can keep it perfectly, like anywhere, whatever, uh, that's what AI is all about, basically the size and everything, will, the resolution will keep the exact same, anything you do in Illustrator is a vector logo, what that means, you put on a bigger scale, uh, maybe like a billboard or something, you made it in this little like little freaking square, it'll keep the resolution and make it perfectly, just perfect in HD, so that's what AI, AI is all about, or whatever, so uh, anyways, hopefully you guys took, you know, all that into notice, so when you press this little lock button here, the little blue box goes away, and you won't be able to select it, or move it or anything, so this is really good for tracing and stuff, because if you don't, you try to click away or something, it's going to select the layer itself, it's going to be really annoying, so this keeps it really nice and neat, uh, so yeah, we're freaking ready to go we're like what four minutes five minutes in anyways let's get going so we're gonna be starting off with just pen tooling this logo out really quickly or pen tooling the logo again for you guys so we're gonna make a new layer 
and I'm going to press P on my keyboard or go to the pen tool. And we're gonna uh, Alt and scroll is a really good way to zoom and zoom out uh, for like you know Illustrator or whatever, uh, anything actually. But just anyways, it's really good you know tip right here. So I'm just gonna hold, uh, Ill I said hold anything. I'm just gonna click the point and start going. So right here, uh, any oh this is good right here. So you have this little purple line right here. This is mean this is the stroke. It's not the the, the solid color or anything. It's the stroke. You can turn this off by just selecting. This is your primary color right here, and this is your stroke colors. A uh, little gray box surrounded by colors or stroke color. That's what this purple is, and that's why that's there. If you want to just turn it off for now while you're just you know doing your logo, you could just simply take this little right little dash line right here, click on it, press none, it'll go away, and it won't be bothering you anymore. So just click back on this anchor point, keep on going. Click, click, click. I'm kind of rushing through this. You shouldn't be. You should be trying your hardest right now uh, if you're doing a client logo or something. And I'm going to run into a problem right here, uh, right here. So let's say... If you ran into a problem where you're trying to trace over your shape and you couldn't because you can see the rest of it and you cut it because you had this like path right here already filled, uh, that's a weird thing about Illustrator. The pen tool uh, you know, automatically connects to finish to last or last point to beginning point. Uh, so if you want to lower the opacity to it, all you got to do is like click on your selection tool here, click outside somewhere, click back on the shape that you have going so far, go into the opacity right here where it says 100%, drop down, make it 40% or something, just like, something nice and low so you can see through it. And you can go back right to the pen tool, like so, and just click and keep on going. So I have two down, one more to go. Let's just go here, here, boom, 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 and boom. So yeah, now we're done with that, tracing it. I'm just going to select all these by holding shift and uh, putting the opacity back up to 100 on them. And so now I can just hide this layer, the back layer I have traced here. So I can just all beautiful, nice blue logo here now. So what I'm going to do now is put the stroke on. Like I said, if you do not select the layer, you won't be able to add anything. So when I put a stroke on, they're basically the same thing we turned off before. We just turn it back on by clicking the first box. Uh, this is your color thing. Put your color, click on it, and a little top left right here says stroke. Uh, one point, I'm just gonna put this up a little bit. And uh, to get more options and stuff on the stroke itself, you wanna go to Windows, uh, or Windows Stroke, Control F10. Uh, and uh, you can see this little table comes up with your logo, your stroke and whatever. See, if I move anything, try to put the stroke on, like I had right here. It won't work unless you go back to your layers, select it, and then go back, and then it'll be able to work. And then you have all this cool stuff like caps and whatever. You can make your like not pointy. You can make it like curvy or, or rounded. I just like to keep it pointy. And I put the align stroke right here. This is your center stroke. That means the stroke will be in the center, like perfectly aligned in the center or in the middle or like inside of it or on the outside, which I like to do the best. I'm just going to load the, uh, the stroke thing a little bit more. There we go. So now I have a nice, really cool stroke on it. You can always just change the color by just double clicking on the stroke color or the primary color, which is the first box right here. You can just, uh, click on that and mess around with that more. Uh, anyways, we're done with adding a stroke. It's really, really simple. I showed you a little more options as well to make it, you know, inside or outside or whatever. And uh, so yeah, now I'm gonna go back to my layers tab, make a new layer. I'm gonna lock this for now, and uh, actually, I actually won't lock it at all. I'm gonna press Alt, scroll, zoom in, and I'm gonna add some highlights and stuff now. So that means I'm gonna add like a lighter blue highlights all these little angles and stuff and I just like to do this by just clicking on my pen tool selecting the tip of it and I just take like use a match like a light source or something or you know that's what you would usually go for I just like go with it and make it look as best as possible and I'm gonna click on the point click and drag somewhere in the middle somewhere I'm gonna make sure that oh this is turned off make sure that's turned off so that doesn't bother you and I'm going to click on this anchor point you can see make sure it gets skinnier when you get to the first point that you did so I'm gonna make sure I have that uh, make sure it gets skinnier there you see how it gets you know large to a skinnier radius it just looks really just much more better click on the anchor point I'm gonna click somewhere maybe on the top somewhere and uh, let's just say since my stroke is on the outside that means I can actually like you know completely don't have to trace the whole entire thing or you know, like make it precise and go and click on the edge over here and go back to over here you don't have to do that at all uh, if you want to do that that's perfectly fine but if you just want to you know select and then just go around like so uh, maybe like a little bit more here like that or something you could do that perfectly fine that's perfectly fine you can just like cut it out I'll show you how to cut it out but if you want to follow the lines or the path itself or the blue make sure the it's perfectly perfect you could you can do that perfectly but sometimes it doesn't work with the stroke uh, like if I were to have this on the inside stroke I would have to follow along the path but I don't have to since I don't have the I have the stroke on the outside now so now if I just go to my layers tab really quick let's say if you do this little blob or whatever you have this blob of color you select both of the uh, highlight layer and the logo layer that you did, which is basically the selected tool or the selective thing is this little circle right here. 
click on them, hold shift or uh, control, you can click on both of them at the same time. You want to go to the shape builders tool, which will look like something like this, or shift plus M, uh, shift M. If you hold alt and control, or halt, if you hold alt, you can see this little, you know, the arrow right here, uh, this little plus button. If I hold alt, it'll make it to a minus. Uh, what that means is subtraction and add. If we hold alt and click somewhere along, or click on this little blob right here, this is basically going to show you the separation between the uh, two layers. You just click on the, the little blob layer right here, which will be this right here. Make sure you hold Alt, it's minus, subtracts it, you click, and then you're good to go. It actually perfectly cuts it out, and I'm actually going to change its color now. I can select it just right here, just go to my Selective tool, click on it, click on the highlight that we just did, double click on the color, and make it a lighter blue than before. I'm going to go over here, just make it lighter blue, press OK, and then you'll see it looks like a lighter blue. Uh, maybe I'll just make it a little bit more, just a little bit more, like so. Uh, eh, I don't like it. Maybe just the color scheme that I have here. But anyways, you would just you know just simply do that, make it a lighter color than the primary color itself. And I'm gonna keep on going here. So I'm gonna just basically zoom in over here. Pen tool, click on the tip, somewhere in the middle, like over here. Click and drag, and uh, hold Control or Alt. Click on this. Take this little thing. Make sure it gets skinnier over here, like so. And come up here. Finish it off and zoom out and finish it off like so. There we go. And I select both these layers holding sh uh, Control or Shift and click on the Shape Builder. Hold Alt, Minus, and there we go. You can see how that works. Very, very simple, very, very quick as well. And I'm going to do one more right here. Uh, I would do this more, like, you know, more perfect and whatever and kind of get really cool highlights and stuff. But for now, just for tutorial purposes, I'm going to show you guys. And uh, here, making sure it gets skinnier, like so. And go to here, and come across, like so. Double click, Shape Builder, Alt minus. Very very simple. It's very like I said, it's very very simple. It's kind of tedious in a way, but it's just all around. You know, that's what Illustrator is. Very tedious program, uh, for like really you know simple things. But that's just because it's a really like you know professional program here. And uh, so yeah. Once I did that, I'm really just all round, just all round done. I can add another stroke if I wanted to, which I will do. I'll show you how to add a double stroke, as you saw on this logo right here. It has a double stroke. It has a dark green to a lighter green, the same green as this one. Uh, to do that, all you do is when you make duplicates and layers, uh, you can just hold Alt, drag it, click on it, drag, and put it either above or below. I'm going to put below in this case because I need to put it below because the stroke is going to be on the below this time. And if I just uh, simply select the layer, click on my stroke color, Make sure I change it to something else. I'll change it to maybe a, I don't know, black, let's just say. And I can actually just change the stroke like so. And you'll see that there will be now three strokes, or two strokes in three different colors. Uh, well, two different colors. And you have black and uh, purple now. So it looks really, really good that way. That's just another way of just putting another third stroke on it, which looks really, really good itself. You can keep it with one or put two. That's just how I'd want to do it. Or that, oh, you see how they, right here? You have to probably lower the stroke one more just so it doesn't pop out there. Uh, maybe like that. There we go. So that looks really good. Uh, to fix that, you just basically just cut that out. Uh, I'm just gonna just leave that like so. And let's just say you want to finish it off writing your text to the you know the name or whatever the logo or the uh, the the team itself. I was gonna put orbit like I said orbit. There we go. And to basically keep the same exact color scheme, what you would do is you make sure oh you want to do this on a new layer. Make sure you make a text on the new layer like so, and then do orbit like so click and drag it over here and uh, what you do is you can select this right here go to this little uh, this little eyedropper thing select the blue or anywhere around the logo it'll take the color scheme to do it uh, for the gray here now you just basically select the uh, text again go back to the eyedrop and just select on this black it'll give it the black oops I gotta make sure I do it on a new layer I didn't do it on a new layer but if I did that on a new layer it would select the black as well or let's just do it on a new layer I hate when I did that uh, let's go just click out new layer text uh, just so it doesn't get confusing or whatever here I have orbit now I just go back to the eyedropper which is right here click on it and uh, click back on the low uh, the text go back to the little eyedrop thing and now click on the black it should work I don't know oh I gotta make a duplicate duh make a duplicate alt put on the bottom copy it and then select it eyedropper black there we go there we go that's how you basically keep, uh, keep the exact same color scheme and the exact same measurements of the strokes and stuff with the same exact with the text 
and I'm just gonna you know select it all. You just simply select it all by using the movement tool or the selection tool. Uh, select around it. And you can freely move it. And so yeah, there we go. Now we have our orbit team logo. You probably put gaming on the bottom of this, like put orbit gaming or whatever or whatever. So anyways, hopefully you guys really like took this tutorial and be like, you know, this is really. I believe this deserves like more than 200 likes. Honestly, let's go like go for 300. I really truthfully think that this helped me out so so much when I was taught by it with by Muck. It was just really just freaking perfect. So anyways, make sure you guys do check out Muck. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at SaySoHQ. Give the video a like. Uh, comment down any uh, new tutorials that you want me to do. Probably seen before. I will be sure to get on it and try and learn it myself and teach it to you guys. Make sure you guys you know. All around, just like the video. Hopefully, you guys really, really enjoyed this video. I know it was longer, like, than all my normal ones. But anyways, I'm going to end it here. I'll talk to you guys later. Let's get you out. Peace.